Anna and I'm here to help you cry more. Happy tears! So it's been so long since last time I went to Han, and I'm here to bring you to my journey of um, healing and becoming more whole through the love of God. So if your heart is breaking, I hope that this vlog will guide you on what to do and to have the right mindset in this um, in the journey you may be in. Okay, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, I lift up this vlog to you. Actually, you know that I'm doing this first for myself because I want to remember the things you have done for me so that I will continue to be faithful to you because there is no other desire of your heart than to see me flourish and to see me really, really happy. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay. So, um, I am going to share with you uh, what happened to me in Bantayan Island, Cebu. So, this can serve also like a tour guide somehow. Uh, but I know being me, I'll be sharing also a lot of wisdom that I've learned along the way. Okay? So, hop in with me and um, let's... Have fun and have a meaningful conversation. Uh, you can comment below for your comments. And yes, okay. So, um, a month ago, more than a month ago, my heart was torn into pieces. It's not love life related, okay? That's as much as I can say. So, I had to travel back from the province to Manila. Uh, because I just felt I needed to be away. So I went straight to the condomin condominium and the moment I entered, paglagpas ko sa door, I nabasag yung ilaw. And when I saw the shattered pieces of the glass on the floor, I felt the Lord speaking to my heart my daughter i know exactly how you are feeling i know your heart has been torn into pieces i am here with you i understand it and i'm never going to leave you in this so uh that was around 2 a.m I wasn't able to sleep anymore and days before that I was hearing the Lord speak about Tagaytay. I have a favorite place in Tagaytay slash Batangas so I decided to drive there at 5 a.m. Um, when I got there of course I couldn't check in yet because ang aga -aga pa. I was there around I think um, if I'm not mistaken, before 9 a.m. So, una ang sungit-sungit actually nung, ano, nung nasa front desk. Because I was requesting for early check-in. So, uh, because I couldn't check in yet, I went to uh, a restaurant nearby. And when I was in the restaurant, uh, there were two couples beside me. Sanay na tayo dyan. So there were two couples beside me and they were talking about Bantayan Cebu. O mantakin mo yun, Bantayan Cebu. And then I was silently conversing with my God and I'm asking him, Lord, do you also want me to go to Cebu? Because I really felt like I needed to be far away. And I told God na, Lord, if you want me to go, then find a way to break the ice so I can talk with these people and ask them about Bantayan. And after that prayer, there was this loud, loud, loud insect. It's called cicada, apparently. I researched it. And sobrang lakas talaga ng voice niya. Actually, it's coming from its, like, flap. And, um... And so, it's like parang yung sa niya parang abot ng kabilang bundok, ganun. So, we were all 
kind of astonished by it and it was so small and we started talking about it because we were the only two tables by the balcony so after that i felt like it was god's signal to me na go ahead ask about bantayan so i did i asked them they told me uh, it's so beautiful they stayed for two weeks i didn't even consider being far for that long but then i was constantly asking the lord how long do you want me to be away and i felt like yeah maybe the lord knew i needed that so i took that to heart and after i watched camp camp sawi because it was shot there um you'll see my picture here camp sawi so bagi na bagay siya sa state of my heart actually <coughs> sorry and then um i booked um, my hotel and my ticket and <clears throat> actually I extended one more night in Patangas uh, because I was so tired and I was I mean the tears just won't stop to be honest with you <coughs> so um water there so i stayed another night and then the following day i found i researched the night before because there's this church um near the hotel that it, it's my favorite church here in the philippines so i looked up the mass it said 6 a.m so i said to the lord lord if i wake up early i won't alarm i'll go to mass so i woke up before six but then as i was getting ready to go to mass um, nagloko yung chan ko sa sabi ko Lord, naman naman yan but I said, okay, I'm still going to church and the sweetest thing is that when I got to the church uh, 10 minutes before 7 o'clock kala ko na miss ko na yung mass apparently um, because it's the feast day of the saint uh, to whom the church was named after uh, masses that week was moved to 7 o'clock so Grabe si God talaga. Anywho, um, that was very, very sweet. And then, um, actually, a funny thing happened. I, I felt the Lord speaking to my heart and telling me, people will be your medicine. And I really was needing a hug, to be honest. Um, so there was this one kid in the church and his parents seemed friendly so after the mass i approached them and talked to them and i was actually you know kind of um sumisegway na kumahog ko yung cute kid uh pero ayaw nung bata so they ayun okay lang naman um after that nakakatawa alam mo ba bumalik yung tatay, kaloka talaga, bumalik yung tatay, tapos sabi niya, okay ka lang ba talaga, blah, blah, blah. And then started asking other questions, and I felt kind of uncomfortable already, and I felt like, you know, the devil really will find ways to, um, you know, um, sneak himself in when you're vulnerable, and try to really pull you even further down by letting you, you know, succumb to temptations that are just worth not worth your time so i told this guy oh what's what's the name of your wife again i'm gonna pray for you there so thanks be to god for the grace uh because ain't got no time for that girls ain't got no time for that uh so yon uh that day was the day i was leaving and um by the way the mass oh my gosh was so beautiful uh, I found out that uh, that the uh, patron saint of the church, tama ba patron saint of the church, who is Saint Anthony de Padua, is actually the patron saint of marriages of lovers, and he's a matchmaker. So kilig na kilig ako um, that I attended that mass. Okay, so yon. I went home that day and I went to my sister's house because I knew I needed hugs, and I'm so happy I went. They gave me lots and lots and lots of hugs and they even gave me a group hug because my sister has five kids. We call them car kids because they're all named after cars. 
So yon. That was so helpful. The following day, um, I packed my stuff, kanyan, and then the following day, I flew. Okay, punta na tayo sa bantayan. So, um, ang saya because I didn't have sleep the night before. Hindi yun yung masaya. But the entire trip, which was so long, I slept all the way through. Um, I slept during boarding. I slept in the plane. Nakatawa pa sa plane. So, I told you, diba, um, I'll give you lessons along the way. So, sa plane, uh, unang katabi ko, really big guy, and he was laughing so loud. Sa ko, Lord, paano ako matutulog dito? And he was occupying a lot of space also. So, parang, I'm not gonna be com comfortable at all. I'm not gonna be able to rest. And so, I felt like, oh, maybe I could move. So, even if nakakahiya, you know, I asked the attendant after settled na kami on air. Um, and uh, a great, the great thing is may empty seat and beside it was empty also. So, praise be to God uh, that I was able to assert myself, you know. You, you have to uh, there. So, I slept in the plane and then I've always wanted a solo trip wherein magsasakay ako ng boss. So the great thing about going to Bandayan is that you will have a three-hour bus ride. Some of you may not want that, but I like it. I like sightseeing. I, I just like it. So, uh, yun na. Nag-bus ride na ako. And then, again, I slept. At saka nakakatawa kasi uh, one of my favorite shops is actually Mini Miniso. So the night before, I went there and I got myself a blanket, which is so, so useful. I got the big one. So yun. Uh, and then, after bus ride, ferry naman. Ferry going to the... So, you go plane one and a half hours from Manila. And then, you go taxi to the terminal of the bus. Well, you can go straight to Bantayan via taxi uh, to the port. But, it's um, expensive, like 2000 for a taxi. So, the bus is around 200 plus, I think. So, yun. Um... And then I arrived in the port, so the bus is two to three hours, and then the port is another hour and a half, ganyan, going to Santa Fe um, Island, which is the tourist spot of Bandayan. So, sabi sa inyo, medyo tour guide to eh. So I got there, and then I, as we were waiting for the ferry, actually, I met this girl. <laughs> Her name is Princess, and she instantly became my friend. So we chatted again and again, and we were on the ferry, although I was on the ferry. Um, Princess is very kind and accommodating. Uh, yon. So, after that, I went to my hotel. I was because on the ride going to the hotel, the first verse that I saw in one of the parked vehicles in Santa Fe Island is Matthew 6, 33, which is, Seek first God's kingdom and all its righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So I said, Okay, Lord, I hear you. Um, for every step here in this island, I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to follow where you lead. So I went to this hotel, and um, the staff were so nice. Oh, may nakalimutan ng kwento, sorry. Eh, balik tayo. Balik tayo sa Batangas. Okay, so before going to my sister before bantayan flight and trip back to the hotel my last day in the hotel uh, as i was walking after buffet breakfast i saw a seminar happening if you don't know i am into seminars conducting and attending so i passed by it and so funny because the moment i passed by it, somebody from the registration table got two ids the name of the other one is maan my name the name of the other one is master which is really my advocacy, Master Mission Mate. So it's, it felt like, okay, anak, she put together Master and Maan. I felt like the Lord was telling me clearly, we need some time together. So, I don't know where I'd be if I don't have the Lord in my life, okay? And then, um, ayun na, balik na tayo sa Santa Fe. So funny because the driver, he told me about this. Sabi niya, ay ma'am, jellyfish season ngayon. So don't go to Bantayan on May to June, okay? Um, jellyfish season ngayon, pero sa Santa Fe Beach Club, uh, mas maganda yung beach, hindi masyadong maalon, ganyan-ganyan. So, 
parang di related na no? alon tsaka jellyfish. Anyway, so maalon kasi dun sa pinaka main beach which is, you may have heard of it, Kota Beach, di ba? Um, so yun, dapat masabi mo sa devil, devil, kota ka na, kota ka na sa akin, kota ka na sa pamilya ko, magpapalitan na natin ng kwento. Di ba dapat ganun? Anyway, so, um, I'm so happy about that, that I got to see Santa Fe Beach Club on my first day because I really, really liked it there. Hindi kasi ako mahilig sa native, mahilig ako sa medyo modern, ma-white, ganon. Bantayan Beach is so beautiful. White sand, um, crystal clear waters. As in talagang, <laughs> ang ganda niya. So, wala akong alam masyado sa Bantayan na. I just knew the beach was nice. But then, in my heart, I knew the Lord brought me there. And now for sure, I knew, syempre, in hindsight, He really was the one who orchestrated everything about it so yon and then the following day was sunday i went to mass of course it was such a beautiful church it's not the kind of church that you will expect in a far away island because it's so beautiful it's so modern i'll, I'll show you here that's a church and um beautiful beautiful and then i was hungry after and i saw it of course eating out i saw it as i was dressed up because i just came from church i felt like it was a date with the lord so uh, apparently a few steps away from my hotel was thai food restaurant which is a thai restaurant which i love because i love manghang food and it was an enclosed area i like alfresco but i don't like it because i'm scared of cats sorry na sa mga cat person but yes i'm scared of cats so the sweetest thing about um, Saifun restaurant was that it was just built a month ago, yung enclosed area nila. So I felt like the Lord was like, I mean, my daughter is coming over. I'm gonna make sure it's prepared for her, that she has an enclosed area, and that she will love the food. And then I got to be friends with the table beside me. They were a family with a very cute baby. And uh, they even asked their baby to hug me. Uh, yon. And then the server, her name was my name also, Anne. And I was asking them, so saan pa ba maganda pumunta dito sa Bantayan? And then they said, ah, maganda sa by God. Nakakatawa, di ba? By God. B-A-I-G-A-D. But then, it feels like it's by God. So, I booked a tour the next day, including by God I, um, Island. Okay, trivia, there are 80 plus beaches in Bantayan. Whew, grabe, di ba? So, yon. Um... I felt like I needed to go to a beach and the Lord said, Okay, Anna, you want one beach? I'm going to give you 80 plus. Diba? Pili ka. So God is such an abundant father. We always need to be reminded of that. Um, and yun nga, we are always on his timetable, not ours. Remember yung sumakit yung chan ko, yung pala 7 a.m. pa yung mass, diba? So the God that we worship is a God that can be trusted. So, um, the following day, I went to the island tour and I went to Baigad um, Island, which is a lagoon and a beach and a beautiful bar they just built a month ago also. And sobrang ganda niya. Okay, I'll show you. There are a lot of hammocks. Um, it's exactly the place that I, you know, parang if I will envision where I want to be, it's that place. And again, the sweetest thing that God did there, I met the owner and she told me, um, what's your name? Sabi ko, Maan. Sabi niya, alam mo, I have a cousin. Everybody, she, her name is Maan, ha? But everybody calls her Precious. Hmm. How God knew what my heart, ne what my heart needed to hear exactly na parang you're so precious you're so precious because there are so many things that can happen in our life that we don't want that will make us forget how precious we are and God will be so faithful in reminding us and for me that was such a direct message that I'm gonna keep in my heart forever. Uh, maan yung name niya, pero tawag ng lahat sa kanya, Precious. Di nila maintindihan bakit. And ako gets ko. <laughs> Para pala siya sa akin. <laughs> that our lives will intersect in that exact moment I needed that message. 
praise be to God. And I said, "Nandiyan ako cat person." And imagine an island that is that has no cats at all, <laughs> de ba? Grabe talaga. I also went to Virgin Island, which is so 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 beautiful. And there was a spot there with no jellyfish at all, so I got to swim there. Okay. And then after that, I transferred to hotels. By the way, I transferred five hotels. Four in Bantay and one in Cebu, so I transferred to another hotel. I transferred to, actually to Santa Fe Beach Club, and my stay there was amazing. In the morning, there are a lot of jellyfishes, so I said, "Lord, ano ba naman yan? Alam mo naman kung ganon ko ka gusto magswimming." And you beach dito para sa mga high pair and daming jellyfish, super dami talaga. I'll show you a picture. Yan, bento mo kung scary sila, but up close they're so cute. Here's a video that will show you how cute they are. But then they're still scary. Na sting ako actually. I don't know if it's a white or a black that stung me, but di naman siya major. But this is the funny thing that happened—a funny and a very thoughtful and a sweet thing from God. Again, who is my date during this trip? So uh, as I was in the by the beach, dun sa isa sa mga sunbeds, tama ba sunbeds? Sunbed, sunbeds. Okay. Anyway, sunbed. Uh, I was looking at the water, and there was this pregnant woman with her. Um, husband, son, husband, <laughs> oh, Lord, um, swimming, and then she started making the sign of the cross. So I said, "Oh my gosh, I feel like the Lord is inviting me over." At first, takot na takot ako eh, pumunta sa magswimming kasi ang daming jellyfish. But I talked to the I talked with the lifeguard and I talked with the pregnant woman, and they said, "Like, pasan mo lang yung jellyfish," and then sobrang clear na. So I really you know mustered all my courage and went i just saw the jellyfishes na parang kasi gaganunan mo sila parang game lang siya and then paglabas ko oh my gosh boracay mode so swimming na ako ng swimming and swimming and swimming and swimming and i really enjoyed it there and then there was this night also in santa fe beach club where in walang internet sa room ko um nahulog yung phone ko because i went to the mangrove in camp sawi and ako lang kaisa isa nag kayak doon and um, the lord really was speaking to me very clearly in the circumstances na um, he's reminding me of things that will help make my heart more tender um ang galing talaga niya and so um anyway nag kayak ako na hulog ako sa kayak na hulog yung phone ko so uh, I couldn't charge my phone. It, it's back empty. I didn't have internet in my room. So I felt like the Lord was telling me, write about your experience here. So I wrote away and it, I was able to write, um, how many pages? Five pages. And it made me really happy. Yon. So because when you're doing what the Lord is asking you to do, you will really be fulfilled and happy. And I'm able to share it with you now there so also during my stay there even if my heart was breaking i was receiving messages that were really making my heart very very happy mga dream come true sunod sunod after that day um another after that swimming day actually morning lang ako ng swim and then i rested a red ganyan oh i went on a tour then pala so um okay i'll tell you about the tour this is funny so i went on a tour Kasi yung owners ng Santa Fe Beach Club, sila may area ng major tourist spots, which is Ogtong Cave, um, Ogtong Beach, Sandira Beach. Anyway, I went to Ogtong Beach and um, ang sarap mag-swimming sa cave ha, in fairness. But then I went to the beach and it was low tide. It was so dang beautiful. And then I said, ah, saya sana mag-picture dito, pero sobrang kilokilometro na yung layo ko sa bags ko. Walang picture sa akin. But then there is this one group of women, so apat sila, mommy, daughter, two titas, and sabi ko, Lord, papicture kaya ako na kaya. Pag nauna silang, pag nauna silang makipag-usap, papapicture ako, Lord, ha? But then, yung dalawang titas na malapit sa akin, um, wala. And, hindi ako kinausap. And then, when they left, the mom and the daughter were there, and at first, parang I found them intimidating pa nga eh. Oh, na intimidate si man. Oo naman, grabe ko yun. Pero mabilis ko ma-overcome kasi si Lord. So anyway, um, the mom approached me. She started talking with me. And then I said, Lord, pagkakataon ko na ito, magpapapicture na ako. So ako, ano po pangalan nyo? Sabi niya, ito, naloka ako. Sabi niya, ang pangalan niya ay Maan. Galing ni Lord, diba? Ako masabi. 
yon and then um, so the following day I there was a rainbow actually during my stay in Bantayan I saw two rainbows which is God's love language to me every significant time of my life I would see a rainbow and then um, I had to move hotels okay ito pa pala major kwento Dal ko, no? Shock. Thank you for your patience. Major kwento is um, I I wanted to stay sa beachfront. My room was not beachfront when I went to Santa Fe Beach Club. Medyo gilid siya, ganyan. So, hindi siya beachfront. Anyway, I was looking at this hotel. It's called um, Amihan Beach Cabanas. It's the most expensive in Bantayan. It's 5800 Ang ganda ng presyo, di ba? But then, I didn't like it that much. It's pretty, it's very beautiful for other people, but I don't like native nga. So, there was this um, one beachfront in Santa Fe Beach Club, which looked very expensive. So, I didn't even like parang think about it. But then, I felt in my heart, maybe that's the Holy Spirit. Yeah, that's the Holy Spirit. But mo tanong yan. So, I inquired about it, and it's a lot cheaper. They gave me discounts pa. So, I stayed there. It's so beautiful here. I'll show you the picture. I'll show you the picture. Diba ang ganda? And nakakatuwa kasi, una, in Beach Club, their son uh, actually owns a milk tea uh, a brand there. So, ang sarap sobra. So, bonus kasi I love milk tea. I love the beach combination winner. So, I did that on my last night there because I stayed in the most beautiful room. Uh, so, yun. And then, ang daming mango graham din pala dun, which is my favorite. So, may mango graham, halu-halu sila, which I also had that same day. And the, oh my gosh, everything about the room is just amazing, beautiful, everything else. And ito yung nakakatawa. It was just built a month ago, and people thought it was a chapel. Did it, did it, did it. So, sa ko, grabe, I felt like I was sleeping in God's house. And yun, beautiful, beautiful experience. Okay. So the following day, I had to transfer because wala nang rooms in Santa Fe Beach Club and yon. I transferred to this hotel called um, Casa Blanca, which I find I found pretty. And the best thing about it is number one, it's the only hotel na pinagstayan ko na makapal yung comforter, which I love. And ito pa, I felt the Lord telling me, try mo yung nightlife dito, o, diba? Hindi talaga ay na ano yung nail polish ko. Hindi talaga kill joy si Lord there, eh. so. I felt he was telling me, try mo yung nightlife dito. So I contacted my friend, I remember from the ferry, and she brought her boyfriend. And nag-party kami, sobrang saya, grabe. <laughs> Sanami club something, so yun. May nagpakilala naman sa atin, pero sabi ko, ay nako, we will just waste our time. Kasi nag-vape siya, ayoko nang nag in anyway. So, hindi natin sayang yun ang oras naming dalawa. There. And uh, the sweetest thing is yung Casa Blanca, may live band siya. So before we partied, we had dinner there. And yung live band, yung nafe-feel kong kanta sa akin ni Lord, somebody suddenly requested for it. Yung everything I do, I do it for you. Yung Look into my heart, you will see what you mean to me. Search your heart. Wala ako sa tono, but I don't care. Search your soul. When you find me there, you search no more. Tapos sabi niya about your heart. Don't tell me it's not worth fighting for. I can't help it. There's nothing I want more. You know it's true. Everything I do, I do it for you. <laughs> Naalala ko talaga yung stay ko sa bantayan na wala sa plano. Grabe talaga yung pagmamahal lang, Diyos. Yun, so nag-party kami, super saya, and the bar was just until, the music was until an level. Blah! 11, which was perfect for me because yun ako nagpupuyat. Pero yun, nagpupuyat pa rin naman ako, pero hindi sobra. There. And then I rode a bike the next day. Yun ba yun? Yeah, I rode a bike. I enjoyed it also. I went to the beach. Ang sarap mag-bike, di ba? Tapos papunta sa beach. Yun. And then everything was just God-guided. That's so why it, it's so beautiful. And then I transferred to another hotel. Um, and lo and behold, pagpasok ko sa hotel, there are verses. I will show you. There. And then there was a night in the beach in Santa Fe Beach Club where I asked, Lord, kunti naman ang stars. Damihan mo naman. 
but um, I met with Princess again, my friend. Um, we went to mass together. The following day, her boyfriend picked me up, um, toured me a bit, and we went back to this place where apparently maganda yung sunset. Although I didn't get to see the sunset, but God made my purpose clearer there. That's for another day. Um, but there was a rainbow there again. And then we ate at Kota Beach, and then sobrang daming stars. And nakakatawa si God kasi he knew how much I wanted a picture and Princess is such an expert in getting pictures. So, yon Perfect timing yung stars. After that, um, and oh my gosh, I went to church, diba? Oh my gosh, the church in Bantayan Island, which was about 30 minutes away from Santa Fe Beach. It was so beautiful. I'll show you. And then my favorite people are there. Tabi-tabi pa sila si St. Raphael, Raphael, um, St. Anthony de Padua, um, Papa Joseph, magkakatabi sila dun sa painting. Ganda-ganda ng painting. And ang ganda ng mass about marriage na naman. Na dapat mas mag-prepare ka sa marriage kesa sa wedding. There, okay? And then, the following day, um, I went to see this place people were telling me about. It's a dessert place called Kermit's. And I couldn't wait to go there. I went and I found my favorite ever cake in the world because I love Mango Graham float. There was Mango Graham cake. Alam mo yung parang unexpected na, whoo, nak, I'm, I know how much you love this. It's provided. So I ate ribs, so yummy. And then this was the funny thing. It was my first time to go to Bantayan proper by myself riding a big tricycle with a lot of people. And syempre medyo kinakabahan ng lola mo, diba? Uh, pero yung nakatabi ko doon si Tita Jing Jing she again made a sign of the cross beside me so funny and then she, apparently she is a collector sa church so yon so she guided me and then nakita na naman kami sa church after ko mag kermits accidentally and she guided me sabay kami pabalik sa Santa Fe amazing apparently ano rin pala siya counselor uh, before so yon and then there's this place that I was also brought to. It's called Big Cross, and ang ganda ganda rin niya. And I felt like um, it's such a beautiful thing that I needed to immerse myself in the Big Cross. Um, and what's funny is yung waitress sa Santa Fe Beach Club naging kaimbigan ko siya, and super bait niya. And actually, his stay ko sa Beach Club was miraculous because sobrang May just may similarity in story sa pinagdaanan ko and so the Lord brought healing there as well and then pinakilala ko ni ate um, sa husband niya who toured me also so that's very nice and then sabi ni kuya after ng tour ma'am babalik kita sa quarry yun yung big cross manood tayo ng sunset dun um, libre na ganun pa siya so nakita kita kami the next day sinama nila yung pamangkin nila and si ate um, yung wife niya um, I highly recommend them to tour you. They're amazing people. So, Kuya Anthony, Ate Jo, and shout out. So, we went to the Big Cross. They were there with Pamangkin nila, si Ivern. Cute, cute boy. I think he's nine years old. Tapos, um, biglang pagdating naman sa Big Cross, sumisigaw siya, ah, ah, gumaganon siya. So, I felt like the Lord was telling me, anak, isigaw mo dito. So, yun na. Sinigaw ko lahat. Iniyak ko. And dami kong iniyak there. And dami kong sinigaw. And then after, nagperya pa kami ha. Actually, nag-dinner muna kami. Sabi ni Kuya, mag-dinner tayo ma'am. So, nakakatawa kasi yung pinag-dinneran namin. Pangalan ko pa rin. Tada! Marion's Barbecue. Super sarap. As in. Okay. Then, we're almost done here. Um, last day, I saved the best for last. I love, um, I love... Uh, what's the, what do you call this? Save the best for last. Dapat talaga last is last. Okay, pag mag-asawa na kayo. So, um, in the ferry, I found there a drink called Mint Hershey. So, sa ko, babalikan kita. Um, and then, yun. So, nung pabalik na ako ng Cebu, uh, I got the milk tea. Actually, hindi ko alam na may pearl siya. Eh. Pero padagdagan ko pa sana. So, sobrang bonus yun. I love it so much. So, the Lord really knows my favorites and He provided them all and beyond. I just want to summarize quickly. Ano yung mga nilagay na God na heart ko na lessons? Um, even pala during my flight, the Lord was still assuring me of His presence. Ayun. So, anyway. Um, 
five things I want to highlight. You are on God's timetable. Kapag pinipigilan niya yung something, pabayaan mo lang. Pray for the Spirit. Holy indifference. We're in Lord. Just let your will be done because I trust in your love for me. And I trust you know what's best. Two is um, God will make you feel He knows exactly what you're going through. Remember the shattered glass? Next is God will attend to the every need of your heart, delighting you, comforting you, assuring you, reminding you of your worth. God is preparing everything in advance for you. Remember my hotel, the restaurant, um, etc. And God may, will make you feel His loving presence every step of the way. So there, yun lang. I just wanted to share that. And I have a wedding to attend. Back to back wedding say. By the way, speaking of wedding, salamat sa mga kolekta kong bulaklak sa wedding nila brother Bo kahapon. Um, there. So, thank you so much for watching. If you've reached all the way here, maraming salamat. I hope that this has ministered to you some way, somehow. May you always open your heart wide to God's love because it will solve a lot of problems and brokenness in this world. Yun lang, God bless, and you are far more precious than diamonds. Bye-bye, never settle.